Hi guys, Winnie from Creative Life Life. So excited to do this video. It's November 2nd, so I'm a day or two late. But I want to talk about how we are doing after 60 days on Poshmark. Um, to recap, I started on August 22nd, and um, I think it's been going kind of well. I think it's been going quite well. For September, I uh, sold 35 items um, for a total cost in my actual bank account, $360.78. Um, the average cost of goods for me was $3.02. Um, and that's where we were at the end of September. At the end of October, we are at um, items sold um, for October of 46 items. Total costs actually in deposited into my bank account, $491.35. The average cost of goods was $3.02. Um, I active listings, I have, okay, so overall I have 195 listings on Poshmark, but active are 106. My goal for October was definitely to get over, to over 100 active listings, which I um, sur just surpassed that goal. Um, my goal for October was also to have at least $500 deposited into my account, and I missed it by just um, under $9. But that's okay. Um, so a total um, Poshmark is calculating that a total that has been calculated uh, ah, deposited into my actual account is nine hundred and nine dollars. So nine hundred and nine dollars for starting from August twenty second. Um, now let's just like back up and say that my total for October was four hundred ninety one dollars and thirty five cents. And I know and understand that people make that in five days on Poshmark in these streets. Um, I consider myself still new, still kind of in a starting phase. Um, what I would say is that um, I'm working very, very hard. With Poshmark, you really can't shut it off. And people that are resellers understand that you're working all the time. Um, for the past couple weeks though, I have tried to consciously uh, shut it off. And I mean that, you know, by a certain time of night, like 10 o'clock or so, I say, okay, I'm done. Um, it doesn't happen every single night. There's nights where I'm working to midnight or 1 a.m. responding to people, liking people's things, or sharing my closet, or sharing other people's items. Um, so that doesn't always shut off, but I'm trying to be a little bit more conscious in shutting off, especially at night when I just need to get some sleep, or on a Sundays when I'm in church, I try not to check my phone, or I take off my watch. My watch is connected to my phone, so I take off my watch so that it's not buzzing on my wrist either, so that I'm not, you know, distracted by people that are following me, or um, commenting, or liking, and all that stuff, so I'm checking my phone all the time. I don't want to be that person, so I, I do um, try to disengage in that time, but you're always on your phone. You're always um, looking at things and all that stuff. So it's kind of interesting. So I did want to talk about my top like three biggest flips and I think that's important to do. I have not been doing what sold in a week um, nearly because of just timing, um, not because I don't want to do it or because I think those videos, those sales are so cool and I love to see them myself. I just haven't been doing them. Um, but my on October flip. 31st and it was just two things and the reason why it was a good bundle is because one of the dresses was actually in my closet that um, just just too big for me and I was holding on to because I thought it was just the cutest dress but I just decided to throw it up I literally threw it up on I think today is Friday I threw it up on Tuesday I think and it sold like the next day in this bundle so I didn't include that in my cost of goods. So that's why it was a good flip for me. So it was that dress and then it was this Chico, I'm looking over to the side because my, my laptop's over here. Um, it was this Chico's, um, like, you'll see it, like a knitted um, vest and it was really super, super cute. And I had a lot of attention on it right from the beginning, but no biters, no, no takers. Then finally, this person liked two of those items, the dress that I'm, that I just showed you and that Chico's tunic vest thing. 
and I put it in a bundle for her and offered her. Um, so the Chico's vest, the Chico's was $32 on Poshmark and the dress was $25. And I offered her to buy it $46 for both and a $1.50 discount off shipping. And I left it alone and the next day she accepted the offer. So which what, what was really cool about that was $46. Poshmark took $10.70, that was including their 20% 20, 20 and my $1.50 discount. And so uh, in my bank account, $35.30. However, for both of those items, I only paid $5.77 for both of those. Remember, one thing came out of my closet and one thing I bought. Um, so my profit was $29.53, and I'm pretty happy with that. The next... Um, uh, thing that was pretty cool was I got a, a bundle of plaid shirts. Oh, the bundle of plaid shirts. I'm looking. I'm sorry. I'm looking. I'm looking at the side. The bundle of plaid shirts. Okay, here we go. So, um, both shirts, um, they offered me $30 and I accepted it. Um, the Poshmark fee was six. There was no shipping discount. So in my bank account was deposited $24. However, I only paid $5 um, for both shirts. So $2.50 for each, $5 for both shirts. So it was a good, solid um, profit of $19. And I'm pretty happy about that. And the third um, one that I just wanted to highlight, um, I went to Plato's Closet a while ago when they had 90% off, so it had to be probably the beginning of October. They had 90% off a lot of their, um, their merchandise, so I picked up a bunch of um, really good quality things. One of them was an American Outfitter, Outfitters faux uh, leather skirt. And I put it up on my Poshmark for $25, and somebody bought it outright. There was no negotiating or anything like that. So um, $25, Poshmark fee was $5, and I have $20 deposited into my account, which isn't a huge amount, and I understand that. However, I only paid $0.80 cents for that skirt, so my profit was $19.20, so I'm pretty happy with that. So I had a few of those um, this month, and it just helped out a lot. I also had a week where I sold a lot of things. So the week of, um, I want to say, there was a week where I sold like I don't know, maybe like 15 things. On one day, October the 11th, I sold seven things. Um, and it was just consistent that week. And then you know what? The next week, I didn't hardly sell anything. Um, and then the week after that, it was the same thing. So I had a really busy week in the middle of October where I sold a whole bunch of stuff. And then I had like a couple very very slow weeks where I was just itching along. Um, I had a pair of Air Jordans. This was a cool sale and the reason being is because these Air Jordans were given to my husband for free. He just didn't like them. They were damaged and I disclosed it very thoroughly. Took lots of pictures, had communication with the buyer down in the comments. And yet they still bought them for $20 and I came away with $16 in my account and you know the profit was $16 since it was free so I love those kind of profits and I love the cost of goods being zero because you get all of the money so those are just highlights of October so again um, my total that was deposited into my account was $491.35 I need, I'm hoping to beat that for November. Um, my goal is to do $550 for November. Um, I Hopefully I'm well on my way. So if you have any questions, let me know and I will holler back at you.